Hot Topic is dropping Funko Pops from 2016? What? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Gasselcast. I'm Chris. I'm Heather. Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about how Hot Topic is dropping Funko Pops from 2016. So this week has been full of Halloween shenanigans. Funko decided to drop a bunch of Halloween Funko Pops, and Hot Topic decided to drop Funko Pops from 2016 that are horror movie and Halloween inspired. Now we've already talked about what I like to call the Halloween Con on Funko.com, but Hot Topic dropping these Funko Pops in stores all over the United States is sort of going under the radar. The three Funko Pops that were dropped, Jason Voorhees with the blue suit, Alex DeLarge with the mask on, and the glow-in-the-dark pinhead. Hot Topic does this once in a while. They'll release something that came out years and years ago, and it makes us wonder where the heck they came from. Even though these pops are from 2016, they're not technically vaulted, they're just old. So were they sitting in a warehouse somewhere? Or are they producing more of them and selling them? And the other interesting thing is, these three characters are more or less horror characters. Are they being released now because of Halloween being around the corner? I thought it was really funny that they decided to do a Halloween con on Funko.com and drop these Funko Pops within the same week. It used to be before that Halloween Funko Pops were dropped almost right on top of Halloween. But now we're given a little bit of time beforehand. And I think that's fantastic. Do you remember when they dropped the David S. Pumpkins and his two, like, skeleton guys the week of Halloween? So when you finally got them in the mail from Funko.com, you had to basically put them away for next year? It was November by the time you got them. And the other note that I would like to make for this week is that they're dropping Halloween horror Funko Pops at Walgreens as well. So it's a total Halloween week for us. But let's get back to Hot Topic for a second. So the Hot Topic exclusives are a funny thing. If you don't get them today when they drop, well, you might get them, I don't know, four years from now? So the other weird thing is that they all dropped in 2016. It isn't like one's from 2017 and another's from 2014. All these guys are from the same year. So is that a coincidence or not? Does that mean that next year we're going to be seeing a bunch of pops from 2017? So as Heather asked before, is this a trend? Are we going to see more of this in the future? Or is this just Hot Topic trying to clear out some back stock that they found during the pandemic? Who's to say? I hope that this means that we'll see some exclusive that I've been wanting that I wasn't able to get. Like the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland with the Dodo Bird croquet set. And a pricier one that's not vaulted that maybe we'll see in the future is the three pack from Lilo and Stitch. It's Stitch, Angel, and Scrum. And that's valued at $100 currently. Imagine if they release that tomorrow. That's crazy. So Hot Topic is just dropping Funko Pops everywhere. And if it's not vaulted, it's fair game, and we might see it back in stores sometime in the future. Guys, what do you think about all of the older Hot Topic exclusives being dropped right now? And what Hot Topic exclusive would you like to see that you missed out on come back? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. Guys, do you want to join an awesome collector's group? We'll head over to Facebook right now and join Gasselcast We Hunt Together. It's an awesome group full of awesome people showing off awesome collectibles. So head over to Facebook right now and join today. All right, guys, that does it for this episode. Remember, as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.